We have very clear criteria for determining our technology trends each year. One is business value, clear business value, not technology for technology's sake. The other one is time horizon two, essentially 18 to 24 months. We're making one exception this year, however, and it's what we're calling exponentials watch list. We've got four that we're looking at this year. The first I'd like to just mention is nanotechnologies. This is microscopic sized uh, manufacturing. One nanometer is one billionth of a meter, so it's absolutely tiny. Now at that scale, materials behave in a very, very different way. Coatings, paints, um, fabrics, all forms of different surface material will be profoundly impacted by nano. The second technology is quantum technologies, a world in which there is exhaustive computing power and speed creates opportunities for doing things at a totally different scale and level. No more will there be the reliance, if you like, on the human monopoly of, of understanding causation and, and the reason why. Number three, synthetic biology, essentially editing genomes. Now, there are very broad societal questions around this, and we need to be quite careful, but the implications and the opportunities for business are profound, already seen in agriculture and potentially reinventing healthcare. Fourth is energy storage, one very close to my heart, an industry I work in uh, most of my time. Lithium iron battery storage has made phenomenal strides. You look at the scale and the manufacturing um, economic benefits, but it can only go so far. What's happening now is battery storage is being addressed from many different industry sectors, not just utilities, but also technology companies, uh, broader automotive and the transportation sector and public sector. And this is done at a global scale. Finally, it's really the question of so what? We would urge organizations around these emerging technologies to sense and research what's out there. How's, how's it relevant to my business? What business problems are we solving? To experiment and then scale these ideas within a business, but also to be very pragmatic around where you spend and how you do that. We'd urge organizations to work in an ecosystem uh, as the most effective way to future-proof their business.